Okay folks, there we are again. Um, I threatened you with uh, another video yesterday and here I am. Um, first of all, apologies for the for the lighting. I'm relying on uh, inside lighting because it's pitch black outside. Um, and today I've got a mix of old and new uh, science fiction to show you. And I've got quite a few, so we'll bash straight on with it. Okay, now I found, um, I found a bookshop in a town... Uh, near me that I didn't know existed. I don't go there very often and uh, chap in there had a few nice um, vintage books uh, quite reasonably priced you know 150 each two pounds some of them the bigger ones and um, so I bought a few off of him um, and I'll show you those right I, I remember this one uh, very well Wayne of Risen the Reign of Wizardry, hard to say, by uh, Jack Williamson. Uh, I reckon I, I remember it because it's got a Frazetta cover, Frank Frazetta cover, and uh, I don't know why I got rid of it, actually, because I, I normally keep um, all of his stuff. Um, this, is, uh, this is an American Lancer book. I, I like American uh, editions. And I believe this is a is a first printing from... Yeah, from 1964, so it's, um, it's in very good shape for a book that's, what, 60 years old? <laughs> uh, quite remarkable, really. It's uh, spine's unbroken and it doesn't lean, so yeah, nice one. Um, and this is one of my f personal favourite authors, Clifford Simak, Simak, whatever they call him, I never, I never know which. Um, I know a lot, lot of people are a bit iffy about them. He's written a couple of nice books, City and Way Station, um, but I think people are a bit dubious about some of his other output. But um, yeah, I mean that's that's one one I haven't got. That's um, that's a pan book, um, not in too bad shape, and um, that looks like a first print, first paperback, first English paperback, nineteen seventy one. So that's nice. Then I bought a few books by A. E. Van Vogt. Now I've probably read a couple of his short stories, but I've never actually um, read any of his novels. Um, so I bought about half a dozen or so. Um, Planets for sale. This is a Panther Panther book. Uh, that'll be a Chris Voss cover, I would imagine. Um, well, yes, it says on the back here. It's it's, <laughs> it's uh, quite unusual actually to um, to have um, the cover art is credited. I wish they would do it. Um, and this is um, this is a first UK from nineteen seventy eight, first UK paperback. Okay, then we have. I've actually no, I haven't. Um, I might. No, I don't think I've got a copy of this. Um, that's another American edition, McFadden Bartell, uh, The Changeling. Um, that one it will be a first US paperback. Um, yeah, uh, it's actually a, it, this will actually be a first, a first book, first you know edition altogether. He didn't have a hardback by the look of it, and that was from 1967. So there we go, cracking on again, it's in nice condition. All these were in uh, reasonable condition, I have to say. That's why I didn't mind paying a little bit more than I normally pay on eBay at the moment. But yeah, Battle of Forever, that's a nice um, a nice glossy one and the spine is pretty good. Um, on Battle of Forever, I must admit I, I've never really heard of that one. Um, that, is a, that is actually a reprint from 1980 from a... 1973 first edition paperback well, it looks a lot more modern you can always tell uh, when you get past 1970 right this is probably his most famous book uh, Slan um, it's, an, it's one that I should have read by now and probably will eventually and uh, when I get past all this Hugo stuff that I'm into at the minute um, yeah, this has been reprinted a few times. This is the third, third printing from 1974. The 
popular books normally stay in print, you know, for a lot longer. Um, and these couple are two connecting uh, to a series, uh, The Weapon Shops of Isha, which is another famous book of his. Quite a slim volume, but again, in very nice condition, I have to say. Um, and that one is um, first paperback from UK paperback from 1969. Nice cover. And then um, this was the second in the series. I don't know if there are any more. But there again, nice condition. Um, from, from New English Library, as the other one was. And this is, um, again, a first UK paperback from 1970. Another nice cover. I remember, you know, when I, when I pick these up, I get a lot of nostalgic uh, feelings because I remember having them, uh, you know, when I, when I sold my, a lot of my collection in the 1980s. Um, as a lot of these books are, I remember and some more than others. And those two um, I do remember. Right, this is um, a novel from somebody I've just read. I've just read a Hugo Award down below station, which I'll tell you about shortly um, as you can say it see it's a I don't know whether this comes before or after I believe I'll be able to tell you by the date um, this one is a uh, yeah 1984 first paperback so this comes after down below station quite a nice cover again <coughs> And that one is, um, is from Methuen, I quite like. quite like Methuen editions because they're nice and solid. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, um, now we have a couple of Doc Smiths I don't have. I've got quite a few of these now. Um, never read a Doc Smith. I'm not really into space opera. But I must, I must read at least one to form an opinion. But um, yeah, that's, that's a part of the Len series. Uh, that's the sixth novel in the Lens series. I have uh, two or three more um, and that is a oh that was uh, 1973 but it's the second reprinting for that year so there were three printings of that in 73 which which will show you how popular um, he is and this is Masters of the Vortex which is the, the seventh and I believe last of the Lensman series. Um, and that one was actually a, that was actually a first first paperback, 1973. Okay. And then this was another one I bought at the same place. Nebula Reward Stories number one. Edited by Damon, Damon Knight, as a lot of um, books were back in the day. I would, I would imagine this is 1970s. Um, so I, I like short story collections because I used to read them all the time. No, it's actually a first, first New English Library paperback, uh, first UK from 1969. Um, so that's nice. And finally, from this particular seller, I picked up this one. I know absolutely nothing about Catherine Kerr, <clears throat> but I like the cover, and it's you know, it's not in bad condition at all for a couple of quid. Um, Polar City Blues, I think that would be more your, your 1990s. Let's have a look. <clears throat> yeah, that's um. That looks like a first UK from 1991 from Grafton Books. Uh, don't have too many from that publisher. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a, a dry throat already and I've only been going 10 minutes. Excuse me. Okay, now these next uh, few, next four in fact, I picked up from one of the, um, the bigger book selling chains on, on eBay. And the reason I picked these four up is because they were 
Hugo, <coughs> Hugo Award winners and um, that, um, that fits nicely into my Hugo Winners project which some of you might know about um, where I'm reading Hugo Winners and that is um, David Brin, Star Tired Rising I'm not familiar with this new stuff I have to say um, I think this won the Hugo sometime in the in the 90s or maybe 80s because that's a, that's a first UK English Bantam book from 1985 quite a thick volume now this one I think I'll get around to reading this one last it's over 700 pages believe it or not it's um no, I forget, I forget what um, publisher that is. Um, we'll have a look inside. Uh, yeah, HarperCollins. Oh, there you go. I, I don't have a load. But, I mean, that's in, that's in almost mint condition. Um, about three quid, I think, judging, judging by the size of it. I mean, it was it was six, six quid to start with. Um, and this is the um, first UK paperback from... 1994. I know there are a lot in this Mars. There's a, there's a, there's a, the Blue Mars, I believe, and another one which might be Red Mars, or I don't know. Green. Oh, that's Green Mars. <coughs> I don't know. Right, this is another one from um, David Brin again. Massive volume. Um, so all these were about three quid. You were all in nice condition. That one was seven quid to start with. Um, of course, the modern books. Uh, funny enough, the modern books are more expensive than the than the, the vintage. And this was actually a first first UK. Well, first Orbit edition UK from nineteen ninety six. I believe the other version it refers to in there is is an American. And so we'll say that's a, a first UK then. You might be surprised I don't have this one um, in this game. Which one the Hugo Award? Orson Scott Card. He's another, another author that people go on and on about and well, I've never read. Um, but um, I, will, I will get around to reading this one, obviously. Because it's a Hugo winner. Um, this is by Atom Books. I've never... I've never heard of Atom Books. Again, it's in very nice condition. And this is a reprint of a 2002 uh, paperback, 2004. I would imagine this was in print quite a lot because it was a, it was a popular book of the time. Now, I've mentioned to you before about the, um, the deal that HMV have got on two for seven quid. Um, again, these um, these are popular books um, called SF Masterworks, uh, and I'd heard about this uh, particular one. Um, supposed to be very good, Inverted World by Christopher Priest. I, think I read one of his um, novels back in back in uh, 70, 1970 or early eighties. Um, but I can't really remember what it was, to be honest. <laughs> um, memory doesn't go back that far. So yeah, as I say, that's one of the um, two for sevens. And then this is a, a very, a very famous book. I thought I'd get that one. Um, Roadside Picnic by, by Arcadian Boris Strugatsky. Um, yeah, very well known, very thought, very well thought of book. Um, I mean, as I say, the, these books are typically about nine or ten quid and you can get two for seven, so you can't complain. Right, now this is my my favourite purchases of the last couple of weeks. Um, door Books, American Door is a shortened version of Donald A. Wallheim. And they published a lot of science fiction, I think, from 1972 onwards. I think they're still going, actually. And um, I used to collect them because they were numbered. 
anything numbered like <laughs> red rag to a bull to me i want them all um and I, and I love these door books because they all have um you can tell them well you can tell the earlier ones because they all have a nice yellow spine um and i managed to pick up a little bunch from one ebay seller very reasonable prices um two or three quid each and they are you know some sellers are selling them quite dear so i'll just show you the ones i got that's the day star by mark justin that is um number six now m most of these were were actually first editions i don't think many of them got published in um in hardback so the true true first editions um so they started in 72 this was an early one and this was 72 in fact so that was that and then this one is number 10 seventh level by Arthur Suzette Hayden Elgin heard of her but never read any bio that's number 10 as I say these you see all have this nice yellow spine and they're all in very reasonable condition as well um, and as I say that mo most of them are true first editions this particular one again was uh, 1972 and we jump up a bit to uh, number 20 um, Old Doc Methuselah Ron Hubbard L. Ron Hubbard they're again another author that you know was quite popular back in the 70s 80s 60s maybe and that's number 20 um on that one again probably a proper first edition um yeah doesn't actually say it says copyright 70 but that would have been 73 and that particular one judging by the number of it and then we had a very nice one here Surprised I got rid of this one actually. Uh, Book of Frank Herbert. I did quite a few of these. I've got some Book of Brian Ordis, um, Book of Philip Dick, a couple more, uh, which I did keep. Um, but this is uh, Frank Herbert, it's number 39. Um, never before in paperback, so that seems to indicate that it was a. And it's a first. You, uh, first American, January 1973. So maybe it was printed in hardcover, that one. Um, right, Andre Norton, that's another very popular author. I think it's a woman, Andre Norton. Uh, yeah, it certainly was a woman. Um, and that was number 45. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to stick to the first hundred, uh, try and get as many as I can of the first hundred. Well, the guy I bought these from has got another nice little bunch from the between 100 and 200, so I might just go for them because they're, they're cheap and, and, and they're very nice condition as well. Um, that particular one was, oh, that's a 10th <laughs> that's a tenth, tenth printing, so that will be a bit of a later one. A testament to her popularity. Um, and Sam Lundball, I recognise the name. Nice cover there. That would be Josh Kirby, I would imagine, although I didn't say so anywhere. Uh, Bernhard the Conqueror. A lot of these books were, you know, pop boilers. They weren't particularly great literature. Um, a lot of space opera stuff, but um, I just used to love them, and I'm just glad to get them back. That's number 58. Um, so that would be... A bit further on down the line, um, yeah, first printing, I don't know, it's only 73. I think they used to do four a month, so yeah, I mean, that's what, 48 a year. So they were quite prolific, and uh, I forget when I stopped collecting them, but I probably had them all up to at least number 300. Guy Schneider, Testament Six one twenty one, that is number sixty four, and that again I would imagine would be nineteen seventy three first printing. And then we have um, 
James Gunn, who's uh, I'm more familiar with. Breaking point, that's number uh, 73. And um, that one is oh, still up, still 73. First printing, 73. And this one is next door, number 74, with a nice Kelly Freese cover. One of the most famous artists uh, in science fiction covers, actually, Kelly Freese. I have, I have a nice uh, soft back book of a lot of his work. I think I've shown it to you. Um, yeah, number 74, and that's in absolutely mint condition. So, yeah, delighted with those. So I should be getting as many of those off this particular seller as he's got, quite frankly. Now, um, lastly, I've got a little few to show you here. Um, you can, I mean, I did, um, I went to Newcastle near me and I don't normally do all the charity shops. There's just that one shop where I've got a load of stuff that I've shown you. Um, Amnesty International, they do a lot of different books. But I went on a little tour yesterday and I didn't buy a lot. But this just shows you what you can pick up if you've got the patience to go around. Um, and all of these were a pound each. Now this is um, a hardback Corporate Wars by Ken McLeod. This is actually um, this is actually a signed copy. It's got an inscription too. Yeah. So you know, a signed copy of a hardback book for a pound. Absolutely mint condition. Not a mark on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was uh, I was very surprised. And then there was this one by. Adrian Tchaikovsky, who's um, a very popular contemporary author, not familiar with him myself, but I, uh, from the YouTube channel, channels I, I visit, um, he's very often mentioned. Um, this one actually has got, got a raised, the letters are raised, so that's nice. And I say, this is a, a nine pound book in absolutely mint condition for a pound. So you can't uh, you can't ground within the best of the lot. I was amazed to pick this up for a quid. <clears throat> Jack Vance. Now this is the Tales of the Dying Earth in Fantasy Masterworks, which I've never come across before. It's in in you know fine plus condition, a couple of little bends at the corner there, but nothing. Uh, spine's quite nice and. Yeah, nice book. I mean, it was 11 quid. Um, it, it contains four of his novels, actually. Uh, the Dying Earth, um, Eyes of the Overworld, which I've read, Kugel Saga and Rialto the Marvellous. I've been trying to get the Dying Earth in paperback for a long time, but it's it's very expensive. Um, so, yeah, for a quid. I mean, I was absolutely delighted with that one. Um and that was, uh, that was my little uh, haul for the last week. Now, before I go, I just want to mention um, a couple of uh, YouTube channels that I visit regularly. Um, just in case you're really into your science fiction, uh, these guys are uh, great. Um, there's... Um, there's one called the Outlaw Bookseller, so look look him up in the search. Um, Stephen E. Andrew, Stephen E. Andrews, he is. Uh, apart from being a professional book bookseller, he's a writer as well. I think uh, he's a, he's a collector. I mean, he's got a wonderful collection. Makes mine look uh, looks like a newbie. Um, you know, he's into hardbacks. The thing is, he li he likes mint condition ones, whereas you know, I don't mind. I. I, I, I like a bit of wear in actual fact, uh, gives a bit of character, but um, yeah, I mean, he's a very, very knowledgeable guy. Um, I think he's probably had something to do with publishing as well. Um, but I mean, he knows, he knows everything about everything, writers, books, got an encyclopedic memory. And yeah, I really enjoy his channel. I'm, I'm burning through all of his uh, videos at the minute. So if you're really serious about your science fiction, 
visit the Outlaw Bookseller. Then if you like your American editions as I do, um, there's Matt over at Bookpill. That's B-O-O-K-P-I-L-L-E-D. Search that one up. <coughs> um, Matt does a lot of um, pickups or hauls, as they call them in America, from thrift stores, as they call our charity shops there, of course. And uh, he's got a lot of books, book shops in his area as well. He's lucky enough to live uh, somewhere where, you know, it's uh, where got millions of charity shops and bookstores. And he does a lot of, um, he does a lot of pickups. He does, um, he sells books as well. He does auctions, but that wouldn't, you know, be of interest to people over here. Or maybe it does. Um, and uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good bloke and uh, I enjoy watching his um, his American stuff. He also does reviews, um, as does um, Stephen Andrews at Outlaw, as I just mentioned to you. And then the other one is a complete nutcase called um, Moid, uh, Media Death Cult. I mean, if any of you watch science fiction on YouTube, you'll know about him. And I despise him, uh, jokingly, of course. Well, he gets people to send him books in big boxes from America and all over and it drives me wild that somebody gets free books um, on such a regular basis. <clears throat> I wish I could do it. So if any of you out there have got any books you're finished with, just get in touch with me and send them, will you? Um, but oh, no, he's, uh, he's a good site. He does interviews, uh, reviews and what have you. Um, yeah, so those three, well recommended to you. Okay, I'll stop boring you now and um, I will uh, I'll be along shortly with something I don't know what probably some more SF knowing me but um, anyway thanks for watching uh, thanks for subscribing uh, please share and I will see you very soon thank you and bye bye over and out